thank you for watching welcome back to our episode 3 we are now going to look at a, a question 8 question 8 where we are going to retrieve the file called invoice from our computer practice folder so if you haven't subscribed to this please make sure you click subscribe at the bottom here so that you don't miss any notification that i've uploaded a new episode now let's look at the first instruction it says we must retrieve so i've retrieved this file instruction number two says as a footer key in your examination number left aligned and question eight right aligned so i'm going to go click insert and then after clicking insert here you will see on the right hand side when i click header and footer there it opens my header and footer section so I would click on my work and go scroll down until I see my footer section. On the left hand side, that's where you type in your examination number. And then you go to your right, you will type question 8. So I will type question 8. After typing question 8, you click on the spreadsheet because now I want to scroll up. So when I scroll up there, I see my spreadsheet again. And then now I have to click view and normal so that I work on a normal spreadsheet. So the first instruction there now says we have to make the changes as indicated on the spreadsheet. So firstly, I will save this as question eight. So I will go and save it in my folder where I know I will find it and then save it as question eight. So I will save as question 8. I will agree that I am replacing the one that I have saved before. It doesn't matter. So now let's look at the instructions. When now I have to make changes to the spreadsheet according to the instructions indicated. If you look at the spreadsheet here. They are showing all the things that must change on the spreadsheet. So I am going to make sure that I change everything first. Before we can actually calculate on the spreadsheet. The first heading here was supposed to change to be Bradley and ITC size 16. So I go to home after clicking that heading, I go and find the font that says Bradley hand. So I will go and find it when I click on Bradley hand ITC, it's a font type. And then I will change the font size to be 16. And then now I will also make it bold according to the instructions. And then now the other text below each subheadings what must change also to Bradley hand. So I'll go and highlight them first, go and choose Bradley hand. Scroll down, then I ch choose Bradley hand. And then now when you look at the instructions here, uh, at the headings here, I must insert the information given to me on the instructions. So invoice number there, I'm going to look for it here. In the question paper it's indicated what i should type if you look at instruction number five says insert the following information on the invoice next to the correct headings so the invoice number it's scene 23 then the invoice date it's today's date customer code is breed 2d now on my spreadsheet back to my spreadsheet invoice number scene 23 then invoice date today's date equals to today i use a function for that open and close nothing inside the bracket enter and then customer code i'm going to type bright 2d bright 2dy now after doing that now we are going to look at where they say we must insert a logo or a picture called shark logo so there that is when we must insert a picture so i'm going to click there first go to insert pictures then when i click pictures there i will look for the folder that contains the pictures then when i find the picture shark logo click on it click insert then it comes with its original size so on the instructions that they told me three things first one they said we must change the picture height to 2.54 click the picture first go to format on the right hand side there i will say 2.54 then press enter you see the size will change then the 
border of the picture must be 3pt so i click the picture first go to format picture border then i go to um, with there then i'm going to change the weight of the line to be 3pt when i click there then i can see that the border is, uh, is changing around my picture so i have to adjust or move my picture to be in the correct position that is the third thing that you have to do then there it is and then now we we'll look at the spreadsheet here i have to insert the figures as given to me in the spreadsheet so i when you look at the question paper here you see that it's indicated as to what you're supposed to type there so now on my spreadsheet there i'm going to say 1350 730 and then there i have to say 26 26 10 26 comma 10 then 200 so all these figures that i've typed here i have to change them to be currency with two decimals so i highlight them right click then i go to format cells and then i can choose currency choose currency there then currency two decimals that is how you find it so if it was going to change in decimals you will change here so but currently it's two decimals so i leave it like that and i click ok you see that now they are accurately appearing as it was supposed to appear according to the question paper and then now this text here we are supposed to make it bold and italics so i'll click here first and click bold and click italics and then i'm going to look now where i'm supposed to do the calculations now looking at the question paper again we are told that number seven insert the following formulae or functions where the letter of the alphabet appear to do the following calculations use cell references for all calculations where possible now calculation number a is where we are going to calculate quantity multiplied by price that is the total so we'll start by saying equals to click on quantity and then multiplied by and then click on price then when i press enter it calculates for me now i have to calculate all these others the same way so i will just go in autofill go to the corner there when the arrow changes to be a bold plus sign then i can hold my mouse and drag down so that it calculates for me using the same formula obviously your answers won't be the same now look at this when i autofill going down here it gives me the same answer as this one because it's one day but where here is not the same because this is three it's multiplying by three there is give me the same because it's one day so it's one times the, the number three times the number one times the number just like that okay now coming to calculation number b number b on our question paper it's indicated that we are going to calculate subtotal subtotal it says add all the total amounts so we are going to use sum function sum equals to sum open the bracket and then we are going to highlight or include all the range in the brackets close the bracket enter then you get the answer of the subtotal and then when we go to calculation number c is where we're going, going to calculate subtotal less discount which is going to be calculated by subtotal minus the multiplication of subtotal with discount so it means we will start by equals to then we say subtotal minus and then we open the bracket we are going to multiply inside the bracket the subtotal again we are going to multiply it with discount multiplied by discount click discount then close the bracket enter that is the answer and then when we go to calculation number d vet is subtotal multiplied by rate equals to subtotal there we multiply it by rate there and then we get the answer as 556 and then when we go to calculation of e where we are going to calculate total payable it says subtotal plus vet so we will just say equals to subtotal there plus 
vet then we click that vet that we just got now enter then we get the answer then when we look down there we have f and g this is f this is g so for f we are told to calculate number of products make use of a function so the products are here you see there they are four so we can type four there we have to use a function to count for us so it's going to be equals to count then we say count you use the one of count a because we are going to count alphabetical letters counting things that are text not numbers so if you use count without count a that a it's going to give you zero because these are not numbers so now in the brackets we will have to take the range and then close the brackets enter we get four then this one says number of blanks and we are told that the blanks that are going to be counted are from 820 to 829 so meaning that we will say equals to count blank there it is then we are going to highlight the range from 820 until the 829 then close brackets enter and then we get our answer as 16 now after doing all these calculations you will see that there is instruction number nine that says we must print our spreadsheet on portrait without row and column headings what are row, col row and column headings the a b c d and the one two three four there those are row and column headings so what we do now we are going to go and find out if the row and col column headings are there so we go to page layout on the page setup group you click the group launcher you go to sheet you will see that row and column headings are not included with our printouts so if you are going to include them it means you will put a tick here and click ok so meaning that now when you go to file print you will see that your printout will come with row and column headings there then that is when you will print with them now we don't want them to print so we'll go and click page layout again page setup and then sheet remove the tick for row and column headings click ok and then now we'll go and make sure that when we print they don't appear a b c d one two three four those are row and column headings they are not appearing so it means now our printout is ready but now when you look at this printout or the spreadsheet when you did autofill here under total it was drawing lines for you because it was taking them from the first one so we need to remove this so that you don't lose marks for accuracy so when you go to home there under font you will see that when you expand going down you will find an erase border so you just click where you want to remove the borders and then you drop the rubber there or eraser and then now you don't have the lines anymore so now you can just save to update now when you go to file print now our printout is ready so that you can get all the full marks then you can print it out thank you for watching please subscribe if you didn't subscribe so that you can be notified when i upload another episode thank you